And the idea is that you wear this holster and you set your ladder up against your gutter in a location that's convenient to you where the, the ground is level. Once at the top of the ladder, you take out the robot, place it in the gutter, and remove the handle. And the handle is also your remote control for the robot. Once in the gutter, you have direction, you can control the forward and reverse direction of the robot, as well as the rotation of the auger. So to demonstrate here, I'll eject these leaves. Once the robot comes back to you, it's usually all covered with mud and dirt. So you put the handle back on the robot, so you don't have to touch it. Take it down, put it back in the holster, and climb down the ladder. Now, the robot itself is waterproof up to one foot of water, so you can take it and you can hose it off, or you can put it in a bucket of water and clean it. It uh, runs on a um, 7.2 volt rechargeable NICAD battery. It can do about, it can clean about 200 feet of gutter on a single charge and the RF range is good for about 60 feet. The auger is replaceable, so this is a replaceable item, so when it wears out. And our tread design is borrowed from our military robots, um, so it's a really robust design and um, it works really well. We have a lot of friction. We uh, don't slip and slide in gutters and it's, it does a great job. Um, we have an on-off switch, mm -hmm. we have the forward and reverse direction of the robot, okay. and then we have the um, auger control so that if you're running the, the robot down in one direction and you reverse the robot, you have to reverse the direction of the auger as well. And everything's clutched, so if it gets stuck, you... And the same with the wheels. You know, at, at our robot, we try to make robots to do dull, dirty, and dangerous like missions. And this cleaning gut is, is essentially all three of those things. <laughs> it was introduced um, in uh, September of last year. And the, we had an internal contest called the Bake Off, where you could present uh, an idea that you believed in, and you had to present a business case for it. So um, I presented a business case to make a, a gutter cleaning robot. and. Uh, that I was given the go-ahead to try it, and I put together some pieces, and I used a, uh, an electric screwdriver as the as the auger mechanism, we, and I bought a toy truck and mounted it all up. We had 10 minutes to showcase it, and we blew leaves all over the gutter, all over the judges. Uh, after winning that internal contest, we were given the go-ahead to develop Bush. The consumer response have been, has been great. We won second place at the CES show in Las Vegas. Um, and there are some big names there, Sony and Panasonic. Um, we have women writing into us saying, thank God, you know, every time I hold that ladder for my husband and see him overreaching, uh, my heart is in my throat. And we actually had a sad story where a woman walked up to the booth, stood there and cried because she had a friend that had lost his life falling off a ladder, cleaning gutters. So um, it's really the right job for a robot. First of all, you know, Luge has this image uh, of the Olympics. There is a, an event called the Luge that goes down a track. And also, the, the name Luge, um, it has two O's in it, and we really like names with two O's, like Roomba and Scuba. Um, <laughs> so that's sort of not really the requirement, but we really gain extra uh, style points if the name has two O's in it.